Welcome back to the review and today it's not going to be in the review closet that's actually in there. It's uh, going to be in this room. Why? Because, let me just walk over here, I got this. Oh, can we see it? There you go. These are the Anthro Desk Sit Stand Evolve. This is the uh, the base. This is the table. So this shall be now assembled. That is the plan. Let's time lapse this. And then the plan is to actually take all this out. You can see there's a massive mess here. I started taking my, my stuff out. And this here, which has a lot of my stuff on there, as you can see here, I got a bunch of goodies here, a bunch of stuff I need to review. I got this out of the closet. The plan is going to be to take this out, put the table there so it can go up and down. I can put some stop motion stuff on there. I can put my VR stuff that's over there on there. Like I got some plans for this corner, take this out and then rearrange things. And then I can also review what's over there in this big box, but that's gonna come later. So lots of plans. Let's get to this table. This is the website, Anthro Desk. There you go. Link in the description, of course. This is what they're offering. And this is the desk that I got from them. These are the buttons. These are all the things that come with it. You can see some more photos. And then the tabletop was this one. Again, additional photos, dimensions. This is what I got from them. And this is sponsored since they gave that to me for review purposes. But all my opinions are my opinions. They're honest and they are subjective, of course. Spoiler. It's already set up, it's dirty, quiet, more about that later. But the question is, if you're watching this, like why should you have a standing desk? So a sit standing desk. The thing is, I've been working for about 20 years now, and one of the things that I'm really picky about is ergonomics and the lifestyle in terms of being able to work for a long time uninterrupted without any problems. So when I sit, I usually start in okay posture, and then I devolve into like a goblin, smeagol type of eh, posture, and it's not good. That was kind of at the beginning. And then at work, we had standing desk, and then it started to be like every hour I would stand, and then I would sit. And then when I had my office, my home office, with my Jarvis desk, it's the same thing, but they're pretty expensive. And over time, the prices have come down. I'm actually pretty stoked about this one, but the price is not that expensive and the quality is pretty good. Spoiler again, more about that later. But the thing is, if you're an animator and you have a home office and you have to set that whole thing up, I highly recommend a standing sitting desk just because posture will be better. It's just a healthy lifestyle. I think when you have breaks and you change that, you move around, I get a clearer focus. I feel like my productivity is better too. I don't know. Might just be me. This is a subjective view, but as an animator, any type of artist, I highly recommend anything ergonomics wise that's going to help you work better, longer, healthier, in a more productive way, if that makes sense. But anyway, my two cents, why I should have this. Now, what is this? Let's time travel back into the unboxing time way back. And I'll walk you through the pros and cons about the desk and my experience with it. So uh, let's take all of this out. Probably not the best idea to do this in the evening as the heater is blasting. So I have to get, take my sweater off. So I'm gonna put all of this here out this way and install it down here. And then uh, I'll see how this goes. Shouldn't be too bad. I got starter here, starter desk. That is what we're gonna work with. So let's see how this goes. There is a specific price point to this, but I wish this was not here upon unboxing here. Let's see. That's a bit of a bummer right off the bat, right? But there are no marks either that says uh, top or bottom. I see some coloration differences here. So uh, I'm gonna put this as the bottom. The base, oh, right there. Pretty heavy. It's promising that it's sturdy. Table, not too bad. We'll see how that goes. All right, we got some pieces here. So that, these two, that looks like the motor here. Interesting. And that is the whole thing. I'm gonna assemble all of that now to get onto the table. All right, well, here we are. The desk is ready and it's, it's pretty cool. So this is the lowest level, right? Up, 
down it's pretty fast too and this is almost 90 degrees i would have to stand pretty sit pretty straight so i would have to adjust my chair all the way up and lower it's actually perfect so for me this works i like it again the speed is pretty fast and as you can hear it's not that loud to be honest i was expecting something a lot louder because the price is a lot cheaper than my other desk, which is over there. So that's my Jarvis. It's super sturdy, I love it. And I've put a lot of weight on this. This has 70 kilograms, which is I think 154, something like that, 150 pounds. It's not too bad either, but I'm shaking obviously this, but this is pretty sturdy. So my gripes, as you saw at the beginning were the scuffs right off the bat there was stuff going on on the corners which is a bummer and then i'm not quite sure why this is so loose there's nothing else maybe that's just to adjust i'm not sure that you need that kind of adjustment and it's kind of rattly loose and i have one screw left and i checked everything and uh, unless i have a screw loose but there's nothing there's nothing there that could attach this and there's a gap in between so i don't know and there's nothing in the manual so it's probably user error or it's something just to adjust, I don't know, where you want it to be. Obviously this, you got straps that come with like sticky things so you can do your cable management. I haven't done that yet because I'm not done yet with the adjustments. But the scuffs on the side and this are the only two things where I thought that's kind of weird. I mean, the scuffs are a bummer. It's also a cheaper table, but also it lets you put any type of tabletop on top of it, given, you know, you have to watch the, the, the load, like the, the weight of it. But it's customizable in those terms that you can put whatever you want on there, which is cool. That being said, it's massively offset by the sturdiness. I'm really shocked because I wasn't, to be honest, I wasn't expecting something crazy good given the price point because a lot of other tables are, are fairly expensive when you want like sturdy quality and I was pretty shocked this is really sturdy and a lot more quiet than I thought speed is good all the way down I gotta say it's very cool I like the size because the one that I have is really big which I need it for all the monitors and all that good stuff that I have on there as you can see it's a pretty big setup there so like I said, I'm gonna put this table over there. That is not interesting for you to see or to watch. It's just for me to kind of rearrange my, my, uh, my room. So that's not really part of the review. So I would say it's cool. I recommend it. Minus the things that I talked about, especially the, the scuffs. If you have maybe a darker table, less of an issue. I don't know, maybe it's kind of like a work table where you don't mind that stuff. If it comes out not super pristine, that's a bummer. Other than that, it's really sturdy. The build quality is great. It's not loud, which is a big factor because you don't want to be with someone like, you know, it's your office next to someone's room, next to a bedroom or some apartment or something. And it's like really loud. So I was really pleasantly surprised by the sound and the build quality and what you get for the price. I have to say, that's the honest opinion. Uh, I'm giving this table for review purposes, but they said I can say whatever I want. So this is an honest review. Thank you again for uh, the table. Link in the description with all information. If you want to check it out, if you want to order it, purchase it, that's totally up to you. Go check it out. I put all that stuff in the description page. And that's that from me. Thank you for watching until a next review.